our inventory master. Next important master we already covered yesterday, but we'll go through again. Inventory master. Inventory, you know, inventory, there are different types of inventory. Raw material inventory, a work in progress inventory, finished good inventory, and the finished good inventory, and the packing material, raw material, and different types of inventory. Any type of inventory we can maintain under item master. And even service items, service related item is not a physical item, but service related items, all things we can maintain under fixed uh, inventory master. Inventory master is the same type, like I, you can have item code automatically, uh, item code or manual code, and the item description. And item group, very important thing is group of the items. Okay, we can group your items in different categories. That's all customizable. According to organization, we can group your items. Okay, we can have a retail item, you can have a finished good item, raw material, packing material, like there's different type of item, or IT items, electronic item, like that. according to industry, you can organize your item type, item group. Next important thing is unit of measure. Then most of the items, they are, they can they can sell purchase and sell in different unit of measures. Most of the items, raw material will purchase in bulk, in barrels. Okay, but they issue to the production in liters or grams. Then you need the conversion. Then SAP Business One unit of measure tables automatically handle this conversion when we are doing the transaction sales and purchase. Then under unit of measure groups, we can set up the conversions. Then price list. Price list is also very, very important. Why? Same item we can sell in different, different prices for different, different industries. We'll say we are having our wholesale customers, one pricing. Our retail customers, different pricing. And our corporate customers, different pricing. And our staff, we'll say internal staff, different price. Likewise, we can have a same product, different prices. Only thing is we have to select the relevant price list. This automatically is pick the price list. That, oh, we can link this price list to customer, then automatically when we select the customer, price list applied and automatically we can do the bill. Like this, there are a lot of advantages in price list. And same like fixed asset master, barcode is enabled and you can have a barcode and you can have a selling unit and purchasing unit as well. And general ledger, general tabs, you saw general tab, sorry. General tab, you can have all shipping terms and all information. Purchasing tab, you can go to the purchasing tab. All purchasing related information for this particular item. Who's the preferred vendor? We can link the preferred vendor under your vendor master and your purchasing unit of measure, your sales unit, your purchasing unit of measure and the purchasing related facts. And right hand, right corner, you can see length, weight, height, volume and weight, all dimension of this particular item. Next tab is sales data. That also same thing. Sales, who is the sales unit and length width of the sales uh, item and all sales related item information. Then next one is inventory data. What is it? That's very important. This particular item you can store in different, different branches or different, different location or different, different go downs. Okay. Or warehouses. Then we can set up multiple warehouse under our warehouse master. Okay. Now, what I'm going, I'm discussing is the main masters only, but there are a lot of different uh, submasters as well. Example, like customer grouping is a submaster, foreign currency master is a submaster. Likewise, warehouse master is a submaster under inventory. Okay, there are submasters. Then this sub after you set up the submaster under warehouse warehouse uh, master, then this appear under inventory module under inventory data. Then we can tick. Okay, this particular item, we are going to store only two warehouses only. Likewise, we can mention. And if anything, after you select the item, you can see general warehouse, what is the in-stock? What is the committed stock? Okay, what is the ordered stock? What is the available? All information you can see. No need to go to different, different screens and all things. In one screen, you can see the item-related warehouse-wise information. Next important thing is evaluation. Any item valuation method, valuation method. There are three types of valuation uh, you can do inventory valuation. Most common method is moving average, average, we say what normally we call is average costing. Second one is a FIFO, first in, first out costing, or standard costing. Normally, manufacturing company, most of the time, they are using standard costing. Okay. 
and right top uh, you can see the um, uh, your inventory uh, levels like minimum stock pre-order level uh, maximum stocks that is you can have an item wise as well as your warehouse wise as well if you want to maintain warehouse wise reorder levels branch wise reorder that also possible okay next one is a planning data planning the planning data for your planning purpose mrp planning what uh, one, one is a uh, planning method is a mrp method okay procurement method procurement uh, this what is the procurement method is a buying item or making item this particular item we are going to buy or we are going to manufacture okay and other order intervals lead time tolerance minimum order quantity so this all information required for the mrp planning we'll discuss this thing in the mrp uh, discussion then production data if it, this item is a production related item okay this production related information is a bomb is a bomb type item is a bomb item yes then number of resource component required then item component required standard costing of this particular item all thing under production related information is uh, stored in under production plan then properties next one is a properties okay like same like other fields we can rename these properties and we can we can use for the additional information purpose then remarks and attachment then in item what are the remarks and attachment means like photos attachments any number of photo this item specifications item specs and all thing and additional fields so you can see right hand corner uh, additional fee we can add unlimited additional fees for the item master then you can store all information basically item agreements item details and all thing and another very important thing we didn't discuss in the general tab is the item okay uh, serial number and batch number we'll say you, your company is selling perishable item so pharmaceutical item the pharmaceutical requirement most of the countries in the world is mention expiry date you can't issue expiry item to the customers then we have to enable to track the expiry date you have to enable batch option in the particular item item there are two options one is a batch item or is a normal item or third one is a serialized item normal item will say normal raw material if you are not going to maintain batch number or serial number is a normal item or if you are it's are going to maintain expiry date track the expiry date then you have to enable batch number under item third one is if it is a warranty related item if you want to maintain warranty after sale service warranty for this item normally most of the item will say laptops or phone or any item they said okay one year warranty three years warranty like that then if you want to maintain warranty we have to enable serial number serial number and we can maintain the silver warranty or gold warranty or anything you can maintain okay Th these are the two advanced features like serial number tracking and batch number tracking the batch number and expiry date is very important perishable items as well as manufacturing item you, you know any manufacturing item in the label they mention this is my batch number this is a batch this is expiry date okay this to track this all information we have to enable batch number and expiry date then while we are doing the manufacturing or selling this number wise expiry wise we can track the information same times we can produce the report expiry days wise okay one month before expiry or three months before expiry we can write a query and we can write get the report okay expiry item then very very important for stock management minimize your stock holding cost expiry date tracking and serial number tracking in the inventory master in sap business one inventory is very very powerful okay very very powerful okay that's the inventory master okay then we are going to discuss the resource master resource master resource master this this all masters common for any version please understand either sql version or hana version these features are same only difference is main difference main difference is hana analytics available in the hana version this hana analytics not available in the hana sql version but other graphical thing like web client graphics analytics web client analytics are available in the sql version as well 
can we go to the web client before next master again we'll show the web client because there are some questions from sql uh, uh, sql uh, users sql version users okay uh, what are the gra graphical information available to us like okay we'll say this is a web client in the web client there are analytical tool is available you can go to the analytics in web client this is available for both product sql product as well as uh, hana product in analytics you can go to the uh, your company overview tab go down company overview general overview general overview okay in a general overview this this general overview log into uh, sap business one uh, web client it's a web client it's a web based portal basically then general overview it's a company entire overview of company analytics okay you can see you can start with top go to up, go up go up go up then sales amount 53 million sales done for this particular month up to date then that also segment or your type customer type voice this things also you can change yeah? this is not a static thing you can edit this you can see right top is edit button you can modify this okay okay then purchase you can edit okay close it yes close it okay go to uh, graphic graphs okay then uh, you can see the sales figures then purchase amount okay up to now what are the purchase you did then vendor wise purchase also then your inventory value so this company overview of this this is available in both version company overview go down go down then your sales account posting what i said inventory quantity sold top selling items top selling customers like as you can organize this dashboard in normal sql version as well this is separate thing they release recently from version 10 for both users sql users as well as hana hana users go up for this screen okay close this uh, graph okay you can see Do this analysis analyze then you can do the sales purchase and you can modify this any any these are all graphs basically you can modify these graphs also okay and we'll say customer business partner we can access business partner here itself go up business partner okay this is a business partner graphs okay this particular graph you can see there are a lot of filters in top you can you can analyze business partner code wise business partner name wise business past the group wise you can analyze this report in different different ways currency wise okay different different ways you can analyze this particular graphical information is so all are available on on online real time available information okay this particular thing okay why again why i demonstrate this there are sql users sql version currently there are some existing customers also and we are from uh, planning to go to sql version this particular uh, yeah, analytics are available in even sql version only not available is the hana analytic tool hana bi only okay we'll move into the masters again okay now we are going to resource master the enterprise resource planning system erp you have to maintain all resources of your organization that's why we are having resource master in this particular resource master we can we can maintain our all machineries all our equipments even labor labor is a resource for us all resources we can maintain here and we can link to the relevant particular ledger we'll say we can maintain labor here and link to the hrm module in the system we can maintain your equipments and link to the our fixed asset likewise we can maintain all resources here you see what, what are the information we can store here first one is the same like resource number we can have a manual or automatic resource number and resource name and resource time is a machinery item or non machinery item and resource group and unit of measure of this particular thing resource group we can set up anything huh? and resource group and all thing and general information of this particular resource second one most important thing is under resource mass is a capacity data this capacity data is mainly important for machineries okay most of the company in manufacturing flow you are using ma machineries these machineries we can link what are the capacity data of this machinery 
Okay, what are the capacities available? Go to planning data. Then capacity link to the planning data. Okay, planning available per day. What is the output you can generate? Or per day, what is the what is the number manufacture per day? How many batches you can manufacture? Likewise, or single run capacity or multiple run capacity, we can maintain on the planning and capacity data. Okay, same machine we can have two different phases. And what is the total capacity of this machine? Likewise, we can set up a thing. Then here you can see the top of the screen time per resource unit and unit of measure uh, unit of measure for text. What is the unit of measure? It's a, what is the output unit of measure for this particular machine? Per hour, ten numbers can generate. Likewise, we can set up this capacity and the planning based on that system. This particular information we can use for. Production related information like production. Okay, next we'll go to next. Then next master is the our production master. Production master in production main master is a bill of material. What is this bill of material means? Boom, boom is a basically very simple terms is a formula. Formula to manufacture one item or batch item. We'll take one sample for the manufacturing item. We'll say we are going to manufacture one garment item. We'll assume this is a garment factory, garment garment item. Okay, to manufacture one garment item, these are the raw material fabric we require. These are the accessories and all thing we have to formulate here. And normal factory environment, there are there are stages of manufacturing. It's called routing in the SAP business one. In the garment industry, first one is your fabric is cutting stage. Second one is the sewing stage. Then after that, you can have washing and cleaning, and finally we can have packing. This all routing stage we can set up under bill of material. For each routing stage, what are the raw material required, labor required, resource machinery required? All thing we can link. Then we can get the actual standard cost per garment. Standard cost per garment in the, this particular formula. This particular formula of boom we are going to use for our manufacturing production order later. Okay, this is a bill of material in SAP business bill of material. We can have multiple bill of materials, multi bill bills, multi bomb uh, scenarios. That means two, three bills together and manufacture one item, and you can maintain the stages. And you can one additional thing is now we can say fourth column is quantity to manufacture one garment. This fabric four quantities required, but you know normally there are abnormal loss and normal loss. Normal loss, no, we, we know this is a four meter required, but additionally another 0.5 meters required for normal loss. Then we can add this additional quantity as a normal loss also. That also we can track. Then exact cost we can track through the bill of material also. Okay. Then you can track your stages, additional normal loss, and the, your standard cost. All thing you can maintain under this formula, uh, formula method. There are two methods of issuing manual issue and back. Backlash is automatic issued while you are doing the process. Okay, we'll discuss these things under production process. Next master. Then next master is our service master. Service master. Service master is a your after sales service. In the any service master, you have to maintain your service item. Item, not service. Service master, your equipment card. You, you have to maintain your equipment card. Equipment card, your machinery, or whatever item you sold for the customer, this automatically link it to a real item, your finished good item, what you sold item linked to the equipment uh, equipment card. Then equipment card, you can maintain all equipment related information in the equipment card. It's a master. You can see the part who the partner, business partner, customer. You sold this item. This warranty information, serial number, all thing link automatically. Yeah, why this internal system in invoice this particular item, but we are going to do the service part in the under service thing you can have a business partner who is all this and remarks what are the activities you can go to the activities you can see these activities then uh, sol solutions related document for this equipment card and other information right the solution history of this equipment card will say we sold one machinery then history job history of this thing scheduling Scheduling of this service, uh, this particular equipment card. All thing we can maintain on the equipment card. Okay. 